friends. <clears throat> Happy Wednesday. Today, Wednesday, the 23rd of January. I'm finally getting out of the house. Um, we, for any of you who are new, uh, live in northern Vermont, right on the Canadian border. So we got hit in that huge snowstorm that happened this past weekend in half of the country, I swear. Um, we pulled in, I'd say, two and a half feet of snow at least um, in like 36 hours. And yesterday was the first day that it hadn't snowed, but the only reason that it hadn't snowed was because temperature wise it was like 15 or 16 below zero and with the wind chills it was like 30 below zero um, they've actually I think they're back open today but like we have a couple really big ski areas in our ski resorts in our area and they actually had to shut down because it was so cold on the mountain um, so yesterday my son was delayed two hours and so I kept Willow home so I have not left my house since Friday night um, yeah I need some groceries I need some groceries bad because not only did I not leave the house but everybody was there except for my husband and when my kids are home and not at school all they want to do is eat so, I need some groceries. So, me and the baby are gonna go to Walmart and get some groceries. Um, and then we are going to head to uh, a uh, play group for an hour before we have to pick up Willow from school. So that's what we're doing now. I had about half a cup of coffee this morning. Um, I did put one tablespoon of heavy cream in it. I needed some coffee to get going. Um, I'm going to just have to figure it out. I'm going to have to find, I guess I'll get some uh, unsweetened almond milk or something with a little bit of a lower calorie count just to put in my coffee. I can't drink it black. I just can't. And you, your girl needs coffee. I tried yesterday with the tea and I really liked the tea and I felt okay for most of the day but I didn't feel great yesterday and I'm chalking it up to not having any coffee <laughs> and going right from tea to bang energy. Which, the saga continues, not really. Um, I got an email from the vitamin shop not Amazon because I ordered it through Amazon but it was shipped through the vitamin shop so when I emailed that's where the email went and they told me they would refund me or replace it free of charge and I figured what the hell seeing as I really only lost two or three I'll just have them replace it. I asked them if they wanted me to send the other one back. They said no. So I'm getting a whole new case for the price that I already paid the other one, which is good news. They expedited shipping, um, and it is 23 degrees this morning. So as long as the weather stays this warm and not back down below, you know, below zero, I think it will get here okay, I hope. Um, so yeah, getting a new case of bang. And yeah, so I had some water when I got up and then I had about a half of my cup of coffee. So I probably didn't even, I probably had a teaspoon of heavy cream this morning. Not too bad, I'm not feeling really guilty about that. I'm definitely not hungry this morning. Um, I'm part of a couple different uh, keto face groups. One of them being with Amanda from Keto Ginger. Um, 
her group is awesome. So much support. And someone had posted the other, I think it was in that group, it might have been in the other group uh, that I'm in. But they commented that they'd had a couple days where they weren't hungry. And I definitely find that at least two days a week, I am just not hungry. I literally almost have to force myself to eat because I'm not hungry. Um, and I don't think that that's a bad thing. I think um, those are the days that some I have been known to have like two bulletproof coffees and a salad for dinner. Um, I don't feel bad about that. If I don't feel like eating, I don't eat not something I can force myself to do so once in a while once or twice a week not every single week but once or twice a week every couple of weeks or so I just have days when I am just not hungry like at all at all so I'm taking it and running with it right now my body is definitely fat adapted I can feel it um, I have to eat you know, my portions have been able to get much smaller. I'm just not, the fat really satiates me um, and really fills me up, which is good. And I eat a lot of vegetables, which is, the fiber fills me up. So, I just don't feel bad. So, I don't have, well, I brought a built bar, but if I don't need to, I'm not going to eat it. I'll try, maybe try to find something else that I can eat. Um, grab some meat sticks or hard boiled eggs or something. Um, cause we won't be home until like 1230. So if I need something, um, I'll find something. I've been trying to save my built bars for after supper. I could literally eat three or four of them a day, and I'll tell you what, the first couple days I had them, I ate like two a day. I definitely do not need to be eating two a day. I don't even need to be eating one every day. Um, so I put a big hunk of them in the freezer, and I think I'm going to make Keto Ginger's chocolate donuts today. They definitely don't have the carb count of a built bar. Five carbs isn't that bad, but when you only have 17 in a day, which is what I try to stay under, only because that's the percentage that Carb Manager gave me, and I, I feel like that's plenty um, because I like all of the rest of my macros that I have. Um, I really shouldn't be eating them every day. They're probably I should be eating every day. So I did bring one, but I think I will just try to find something a little better um, to eat. I like the protein in them and the taste is amazing. Um, I definitely have my favorite. I ordered a whole case of the chocolate coconut, which I'm happy because that's probably my, my favorite. And then I have gotten one whole case of like variety and one of the samples of variety and I'm not in love with the mint I could eat it and I think that's one that will probably be better frozen um, I absolutely do not like the salted caramel one it almost tastes burnt to me I don't know what it is I just I don't like them I'm not a huge caramel fan anyways but I do not like the caramel. Um, those are probably the two I like the least. Not to say that I wouldn't shove them in my face if I had the opportunity, but you know, what are you gonna do? So I think what I'm going to do instead of showing, well, I guess I'm either gonna do a what I eat, so I will show you what I have, or I'm going to tack on my keto grocery haul to this and have that be my video for today. Um, so we'll see what I feel like doing. If I feel like it, maybe I'll film both and put my grocery haul up tomorrow. So we'll see. We'll see what I feel like doing. It really depends on what I eat. 
if I just have a teeny snack in the car. Uh, I don't know. I will let you know for sure. I am cruising along. Our Walmart, we live in a little teeny tiny boondock town. Um, there's literally like 500 people in our town. There's no store. There's no post office. There's basically a school and houses, and that's about it. Um, and then we have our big city, which is, I don't know, I bet, I think there's like 20,000 people in our big city, I call it, the big city. Um, but we still have to travel about half an hour one way to get to Walmart, which isn't terrible, but... You know, I have a really excellent small grocery store um, that's in the same town as my daughter's school. So that's where I usually go, but I like to get to Walmart um, once a week or once every two weeks and really stock up on the bulk items that we buy and um, get my Ibotta stuff and uh, things like that. So. That's what we're doing today. We're going to stock up, stock up on meat, and I'm hoping the snowstorm kind of slowed things down so that there's lots of stuff on markdown. That's why I shop at Walmart, because their meat markdowns are amazing. I really like Walmart's meat. I think the only thing we don't really care for or really buy much there is their seafood. Um, but we have... I don't mind it, but I don't like that they don't have, like, a fresh seafood counter. Um, but their meat, we we think, is amazing. We really like it at our house. So I try to stock up whenever I can, whenever they've had, like, a markdown. Um, I just try to buy it all up and prepackage it into, like, freezer bags and put it in the freezer. So that's what I'm planning on doing today. Um, I didn't know my husband would be home for dinner tonight, so I'm not sure what I'm going to have for supper. I don't really think anything... Everything on my that I have on my meal plan for the week that I haven't already had isn't really... Um, A lot of them are just meals for me and the kids. Sorry, my lips are super chapped. Even though my husband really likes, um, he actually really enjoys the keto food that I eat. Um, he needs something heartier than what I have planned. So I need to come up with a game plan of something to cook for tonight for dinner. Although I did promise my daughter we could have cheeseburgers, so maybe I will pick up some burgers and the kids and my husband can have burgers and fries and I'll just have a salad um, yeah maybe that's what I'll do because Willow wanted cheeseburgers last night and I didn't have uh, I already had stuff pulled out for the meatballs so okay talk to that through I guess I'm gonna get some burgers and some fries for dinner tonight I'll see you guys in the next clip with something. Not sure what. Bye, guys. Just got home from the store. I'm going to go over everything that I got. I got a ton of stuff. I spent about $260, but I think in a moment you will see why. <laughs> okay, I will start with our stuff, the keto stuff. This is my produce bag. I don't really have anywhere at the moment to put it. So I'll just stick it over here. I got a bunch of bananas for the kids. I got some celery. I got a cabbage. I got a head of cauliflower. Hold on, sweet girl. Hold on a minute. I got a bag of spinach. Two bags of Brussels sprouts three avocados, and 18 eggs. I had them in here, this stuff, so it wouldn't freeze. 
So that's pretty much all the fresh produce I bought. It's kind of something I buy every week. The rest of this, I'm hoping most of it will last us at least a couple weeks. So this bag, I just have some stuff. We are having a party, uh, not this coming weekend, but the next weekend for Alora's first birthday. We are having Daniel Tiger theme. I ordered her cake from Walmart today. And then I just got dessert plates, a tablecloth, and some napkins. I got my husband a thing of Gatorade. This is not the Gatorade Zero. And then I'll move over here. I bought a ton of meat. I, going to Walmart today was a great idea because I got some really great deals. So I'll go through the meat first. I got one, two, I got two things of chicken wings. Um... They were both marked down. Move those back here. Sorry, I had a phone call. Okay, and then I got these thin sliced turkey breast cutlets. Those were marked down. These were not marked down, but we're going to have them for dinner tonight. This was just some of the... Uh, 8515 beef patties to have for burgers. I got a big thing of chicken. There's one, two, three, six, three. There's six huge breasts, and we always cut them in half, like butterfly them. Uh, and this was ten dollars, so that was a good deal. I got two packages of shaved steak for steak and cheese night. I got some ground pork to have, like with a egg roll in a bowl or something like that. So this was like two dollars. This was kind of expensive. It was like six ninety nine, but it's something we really enjoy. What? Uh, yeah, and we want, got this too. Yeah, she found the Valentine's that we got. <laughs> okay, that's it for now. Their bacon was pretty wiped clean. I bought this one, which was a real deal. It was like five something for this package, which is 24 ounces. This was the only one that size. So then I got two of these lower sodium great value bacon. I got two 85.15 ground turkeys, uh, old Wisconsin snack sticks. I got the turkey ones. Get down, please. I got some more uncured hard salami. These are the big pieces because I'm going to make some more of my own panino fingers. I got two of the cheddar wursts from Hillshire Farms. I got one, two, three, four. Their hamburger was almost wiped clean. So I got four packages of ground beef. Those were like two something a piece. I got some really thin cut pork chops. Those were marked down. I think that's all the meat, but this we should be able to get two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, like sixteen meals, seventeen meals with the meat we have here. Put those back, please. Okay, so I got two chicken stocks, two wishbone ranches. Um, this is the ranch we like. It is two carbs for two tablespoons. I got two things of mayonnaise, sugar-free ketchup, sugar-free barbecue, two cups for Miss Alora, uh, Sweet Baby Ray's buffalo wing sauce, Sure, four packages of ranch mix, Two of the water enhancers. These are mostly for the kids. Um, just the Great Value brand. Some Parmesan cheese. I was going to do the Mississippi pot roast, but they did not have any beef roast. So I think I'm going to do Mississippi chicken. So I bought some mild banana pepper rings. Some onion powder. I bought two boxes of sugar-free Jello. I'm going to make this and portion it out to eat for desserts at night. I got one package of real bacon pieces. I'm going to move over here because I my arms are not long enough. I got one box. I still think I have two of these in the freezer outside uh, the mashed cauliflower. 
I got two packages of frozen cauliflower. I got a bag of shredded Parmesan cheese, thinly sliced provolone cheese, string cheese that I'm going to make my panino fingers with. I got a big tub of sour cream, two packages of butter. I finally found this. I haven't been able to ever find this before, the sugar-free uh, whipped heavy cream, and it is zero carbs. So I figured I could have this on top of the Jello for zero carbs at night for something sweet. So I bought two of them because I can never find them. And I bought the kids a regular one. I bought a big thing of sour cream, and then I bought three... I'm usually a power, excuse me, a Powerade Zero, but I really like cherry flavor, so I figured I'd give these um, Gatorade Zeros a chance. So I bought three of them. That'll last me well over a week because I only drink a little bit at a time. And then I will give you a quick rundown of the stuff I got that's not keto. This is how I feed my family. We are not perfect. I have toddlers and. Um, there's a lot of processed foods here, but my kids are great fruits and vegetable eaters, so I don't feel so bad about it. Sweet potato fries for the family to have with their burgers tonight. I bought this cornbread mix. I know it's gluten-free, but it was on the clearance rack for like a dollar, so I figured always nice to have a cornbread mix around. Um, I actually bought two bags of these yogurt bites. Alora ate one in the store while we were shopping. I bought, I finally caved and bought these Pop-Tart Bites as a snack for the kids. This was on an Ibotta rebate. I got some great value. These are like the Nutri-Grain bars. Um, Alora really likes these. I got some mini bow ties for the kids. Mini Two pack bow ties? Mini bow ties. Ooh. The noodles. Um, two packages of crackers for the kids to take for snacks. A big bag of these mini pancakes for a quick dinner or breakfast. I got them both cups. That's kind of our thing. That's what they always like to get when they go to the store. Um, I know Jess from Bless Jess has a lot of the uh, character ones. So do we. We have a whole drawer full of the ones that have like the characters on top. We wash the bottles and reuse them over and over and over again. We don't even buy cups anymore for the kids. That's the, the one of original whipped cream for them. I got some more uh, Clorox disinfecting wipes. Some goldfish for Alora. These are... Oh, I thought I grabbed the baby ones. Those might be for the big kids. I got some snap peas for the kids. I got a big, um, I usually try to get these in either light syrup or juice. They didn't have any, so I'll just rinse these off. I did get some shake and bake. I figure I'll probably use this on some of those thin cut pork chops for the kids. I got a big bag, a big box of instant rice. Um, I bought two packages of Valentine's for my son to bring to school. There's 32 kids in his class. Um, so I bought the Fun Dip one and the Airhead ones. These were like $2.88 a piece. So for around $5, I got um, all the kids in his class a treat. Um, I bought... An alarm clock to go in my kids' room because they never know. They're not supposed to get up until at least 5.30 in the morning, but they never know what time it is. So I'm going to put this in their room. I got a candle. They had a ton of candles that were marked down. This is a spiced pumpkin pie. It smells really good. And this pretty large 13-ounce candle was only $3. They had the kids' clothes on clearance, so I got... Alora, some long sleeve, sh two long sleeve shirts. I got her that one. I'll probably save these and give them to her for her birthday. And I got a kitty cat one, two dollars a piece. And then I got pink pants or purple pants to go with the blue shirt and blue pants to go with the pink shirt. So those were only two dollars a piece. I got iced animal cookies because I'm reliving my childhood. Yeah, but they've got icing on them. 
I can't have these, but they're my favorite, so I like to give my kids nostalgic things. And a package of Velveeta shells. This is the macaroni and cheese my kids like. And that is everything. So I think for the money, for the money that I spent, for the money that I spent, I feel like most of this will carry me through the next couple of weeks. Um, I still had like two butters in the freezer, so I figured I would stock up on sauces and dressings and stuff like that. So that's not safe. Get down. So next week and the week after, I should really only have to buy uh, fresh produce, which makes me kind of happy. So that is my grocery haul. I will see you guys later. Bye. Say bye, Missy Mae.